Hello everyone, this week's bedtime story is a tale of a little baby monkey who thinks he's lost his mum. I've lost my mum. Hush little monkey, don't you cry, I'll help you find her, says Butterfly. But somehow Butterfly keeps getting it wrong. Will monkey ever find his mum? And the story is called Monkey Puzzle by Julia Donaldson. I've lost my mum, said the monkey. Hush little monkey, don't you cry. I'll help you find her, said Butterfly. Let's have a think. How big is she? Oh, she's big, said the monkey. Bigger than me. Bigger than you. Then I've seen your mum. Come, little monkey. Come, come, come. No, no, no. That's an elephant. My mum isn't a great grey hunk. She hasn't got tusks or a curly trunk. She doesn't have thick great baggy knees. And anyway, her tail coils around trees. She coils around trees, then she's very near. Quick little monkey, she's over here. No, 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 that's a snake. Mum doesn't look a bit like this. She doesn't slither about and hiss. She doesn't curl around a nest of eggs. And anyway, my mum's got more legs. Oh, it's legs we're looking for now, you say. I know where she is then. Come this way. No, 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 that's a spider. Mum isn't great and furry and fat and she's not got so many legs as that. She'd rather eat fruit than swallow a fly and she lives in the treetops way up high. She lives in the trees where well, you should have said your mummy's hiding above your head. No, 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 that's a parrot. Mum's got a nose and not a beak. She doesn't squawk and squabble and shriek. She doesn't have claws or feathery wings. And anyway, my mum leaps and springs. Aha, I've got it. She leaps about. She's just round the corner without a doubt. No, 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 that's a frog. Butterfly, butterfly, please don't joke. Mum's not green and she doesn't croak. She's not all slimy. Oh dear, what a muddle. She's brown and furry and nice to cuddle. Brown fur. Why didn't you tell me so? We'll find her in no time. Off we go. No, 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 that's a bat. Why do you keep on getting it wrong? Mum doesn't sleep the whole day long. I told you she's got no wings at all and anyway she's not nearly so small. Your mum's not little. Now then, let me think. She's down by the river having a drink. No, no, no! That's the elephant again. Butterfly, butterfly, can't you see? None of these creatures looks like me. You never told me she looked like you. Well, of course I didn't. I thought you knew. Well, I didn't know. I, I couldn't. You see? None of my babies looks like me. So she looks like you. Well, if that's the case, we'll soon discover her hiding place. 
And can you see why the butterfly was so confused? Because there's the caterpillars who will turn into the butterfly. And of course her babies don't look like her. Oh, no, 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 that's my dad. Come little monkey, come, come, come. It's time I took you home to mum. Oh. And he's found her finally. There we are. What a lovely story there by Julia Donaldson. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, everyone. Have a great week and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.